Hey there, AED just making a tutorial about input weirdness in Tekken 7. So if you play Tekken 7 on both PC and PS4 offline, you might notice PC does not feel the same as PS4 offline. PS4 offline actually has more input lag, but somehow it feels better. If you've experienced this at any point in time, you are not crazy. The game is held together by two tin cans and a string on PC and was made for consoles, not PC. So to fix that, all you have to actually do is cap your FPS in Tekken. Which sounds weird, doesn't Tekken cap the FPS by default? It does. But again, Tekken 7 on PC is held together by two tin cans and a string. It doesn't work properly. So you have to use a program to cap Tekken's frame rate for you. And then it'll finally do it correctly. So we need this program called Revituner Statistics Server. It's free. It's available on this website, Guru3D. So I'm going to link that in the description. You just scroll all the way down and you're going to find this download version 7.3.3 final. Click that. It's going to download it as a zip. You can just open that zip up and then just extract it. And once you extract it and run the installer, you'll be all set to go. So I already have it actually already all installed and set up to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset my settings and set it up like I'm somewhere completely new. So I'm just going to uncheck this. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. And then I'm going to do it like I'm completely new. All right. So this is what you're going to see when you open up Reva, uh, Reva Tuner Statistics Server. If you don't see Reva Tuner Statistics Server after you open it up by searching for it. So if you open it up and hit yes and you don't see it, just go to the bottom right here. You're going to see uh, this little tray icon or you're going to see it in the tray down here. And then you're going to see the monitor with the 60 icon. Just double click that. It'll open it up. So once you're finally here, all you have to do is just click start with Windows. Turn that to on. Click frame rate limit, set it to 60, hit enter, that'll save it. Then you're just going to click show own statistics. This part is really important or else it's not going to work. So hit on, make sure that's on. And then more importantly, customize how you want it to look. So you can change the color. I like green, so I made a green. You can put it in the upper right hand corner if you want to put it in the upper right hand corner. I like it in the upper right because it doesn't get in the way uh, of other things like steam overlay and stuff. Um, then what you want to do is you want to go to setup. You're going to see this option that says enable frame time history overlay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to check that and make sure it says graph and hit OK. And now that it's all set up to go, all you have to do is just minimize Reva Tuner, go to Steam, go to your library, open up Tekken 7. And now that you have Tekken 7 open up, it should automatically just put the frame uh, frame rate overlay and uh, wherever you set it to pop up. So it'll be in the upper left hand and be orange by default. But if you change your color and positioning, it'll it'll go somewhere else. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to get recognized. Um, sometimes you'll have to alt tab, but it should just pop up right there. You're gonna see it says 60 FPS, 16.6 MS and show a straight line. That is really important. When you play, that should be a straight line in the upper right hand corner or left or wherever you put it. Um, and to test that, just go offline practice mode Pick a character, load up a stage. And it might spike out during the loading screens or in the menus. That's okay if it does that. It's just when you're actually in game, you want to make sure that stays a flat line and says 16.6 MS, 60 FPS the entire time. It needs to be like that or else your inputs are going to get messed up because Tekken is weird and spaghetti code. So let's do some Tanjet uppers for fun.